Hey beautiful Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. This is going to be an intuitive love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Aquarius signs. So the question is, is the feeling mutual between you and your person? This reading is geared towards the person that you guys have in mind. It may not resonate for all, but hopefully there's something here you can take away from this reading. Thank you all for your support, and without further ado, let's begin. Spirit, we ask for insights and guidance. Is the feeling mutual between Aquarius and their person? What does Aquarius need to know, need to be aware of about their person? All right, let's see. So we have the Five of Swords energy. There was definitely conflict, argument. Something blew out of proportion here. We have the Ten of Cups energy. The Ten of Pentacles. All right, some of you could be dealing with somebody uh, that's having some problem right now with regards to their finances or home situation, their home life. The Ten of Pentacles here can also suggest community, all right, their loved ones. There is seemingly a chaos in this person's life at the moment. And it's taking all their focus and energy away from focusing on love, all right? Let's see, we have the Ten of Wands. So it feels like there's a lot of pressure, um, heavy burden on this person's shoulder. We have three tens in this reading. There might have been a finality that happened with you and this person as well. If there was big conflict or fight that may have involved family, money, all right, whatever the case may be. You both already have reached the Ten of Cups here, though, which is emotional and spiritual fulfillment and happiness. But there could have been obstacles and blockages that were getting in the way when it came to your environment and certain situations not playing out according to your favor. All right, something didn't go very smoothly here that may have led to an abrupt cutting of communication here. But the thing is, you and this person feel a sense of belongingness here, Aquarius. The Ten of Cups is, like I said, very, very strong emotional and spiritual fulfillment that you feel for one another. All right, could be that there's a lot of obligations, responsibilities that's been weighing your person down. Feels like there's a lot going on right now with this person. Your schedules might not be mixing up. There's something that you both are clashing not being able to agree on one another so we have the ace of swords energy the tower wow so something happened that really shaked this connection woke this person up as well we have the hermit you could be dealing with a virgo and the father of wands at the bottom of the deck is the full card so both of you are fully aware there's some type of new beginning that can happen. Judgment and the full card. This can also uh, suggest that your person desires reconciliation, another cycle, another chance with you. Ace of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. But one needs to face their fear. Your person is extremely um, worried about something about their finances, their work, their home life seemingly chaos at the moment the tower there has been unexpected chaos here unexpected change and it felt like this person wasn't prepared so please take this however resonates aquarius what i'm getting here is that your person definitely manifested this connection with you they want this new beginning with you but when it happened they weren't so prepared how to handle certain things that comes along with this relationship all right, certain responsibilities, certain obligations that they need to fulfill as well. So it felt like this person wasn't able to find balance, trying to find um, time for all other commitments here going on in their end. I see that you both have a lot that you both need to address, Ace of Swords and the Hermit, but this could be a time of pause right now where you both really need to reflect, review what happened here in this fight, in this argument, and what can be done, what can be changed as well, so this new beginning can manifest for you both. 
So Father of Wands, this could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Father of Wands is typically somebody that's a, a leader, strong presence. A lot of people could be depending on this person as well. This might also be handling their own business, their own enterprise, whatever the case may be. Um, the thing about this person, whatever argument or conflict went down, uh, it was definitely something they could have handled a lot better. I feel like they're realizing that now. Someone's temperament, if it feels like this person wasn't able to control their temper. Um, there was also extreme expectation here or some type of pressure that was exerted. I'm also getting here Aquarius that it could be this person is hard on themselves. They're hard on themselves here in one way, shape or form. They take a lot than they can really handle, if that makes sense. And so with Ace of Swords energy, they've been wanting to talk to you. They've been wanting to clear things up with you. But there could still be some ego or pride getting in the way. That's also what I'm getting from the tower. They need to release any pent up emotions. All right. And I'm getting that this period of no communication, they're going to really reflect a lot here. They're going to realize something about this connection with you. And hopefully they're going to let go of their restriction, their fear, their doubts, and be in this energy of the full card. Fully living in the present moment, going where their heart is. There's definitely a new beginning here if they want to with you. So you both really feel the same here. It's just that the tower, right, when this happened, it, something has also been revealed. Like some painful truth have been revealed. It could also be that you both have realized what was not serving you in this connection. All right. The weak spots, the cracks in the foundation that you both have built. But once the dust has cleared, right, there's always an opportunity to build on a new foundation. I feel like this has been an eye opening experience. Something happened here that opened your eyes, you and your person. And right now, they're, they're, they've been really reflecting how they behave, how they may have lost their temper, acted out of impulse, may have said some things that hurt you. All right, so take this out of a resonance, Aquarius. I do feel like you both were in some type of long-term relationship. All right, you, you both feel the same way for each other, but something happened here that triggered this fight and argument. There was miscommunication here. I'm getting that they're regretting here how they hurt you, but they're also hurting themselves. Let's see. What is your advice for Aquarius, please? It says here, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give yourself. So you both are going on this soul searching journey to heal yourselves from that chaos that happened could be that your priority right now is healing, getting back on track in your personal life, all right, away from one another. But for, for a lot of you guys, I do feel like reconciliation is on the way here. A new beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. And then we, we have here a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So they definitely have deep feelings for you. They love you. They think about you as um, somebody that they have mutual feelings with. You both definitely sense a belongingness in each other here with Ten of Cups. Take away the pressure. Take away what's going on in the environment. Take away pride and ego. What's being left here is the true elements of your heart. And that's what the tower has exposed, you know. Stripping away what's not needed. And making this person really realize what's in their heart. And I'm getting that now in this very moment. They're thinking of you, Aquarius. And they're realizing how much they love you. And how much they want this new beginning with you. Alright. I'm getting that this fight was very, very recent. Alright. It, it, it doesn't feel like it's a long um, period of no communication. It feels like it's very, very recent. Okay. So... Yeah, now's the time to give to yourself. Replenish your well. Because you both may have drained yourselves out here. Ten of Wands and the Father of Wands. You both may have wanted for certain things to work out according to your individual um, likes and interests. But you both were clashing here. 
So I, I'm getting that with this Five of Swords, both parties are now coming to realize that the heart knows what it wants, but at the end of the day, uh, find a way to talk things out in a rational perspective, in a rational way, without losing your temper. Cool. All right, because this, this card can talk about pettiness, fighting over the smallest things, all right, being quick to fight and being quick to be confrontational when things don't go on each other's way. So now, as you go in a soul searching journey, it's an opportunity to reevaluate, all right, and review everything that transpired. So let's see. I'm going to get one card from the Whispers of Love. What is your message for Aquarius, please? All right, there's three cards here. It says, you are limitless. You can do anything you choose. Choose love. You always have a choice. Make yours with love. And I love you. These are powerful words. So don't doubt here, Aquarius, if this person loves you. This person definitely loves you. But you both have a choice to make here. I'm getting that it's, it's not really too late to reconcile. If you are connecting to the story and you both are at the moment away from each other, it's not too late to reconcile. All right. If you both really desire this new beginning, you can do anything you choose once you set your mind and heart into it. All right. But it's a valuable time right now to reflect. I'm also getting here, Aquarius, that if you have already done your part, let this person come towards you, stay in your power. Let this person work on their um, inner conflict or issues at the moment, their fear, whatever is holding them back. And if they really want this new beginning, they're going to have to prove it in concrete steps with Ace of Pentacles. Just be ready what to decide if the moment comes and this person is going to reach out to you, whether you want this new beginning or not. It's completely up to you as well. It's your choice to make. So that is your reading, Aquarius. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I'm sending you love and light and namaste.